Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the Saudi qualification for the 2018 World Cup finals in Russia, following its victory over Japan in Jeddah. His Majesty expressed his appreciation of the Saudi team's advanced level and his admir admiration for the outstanding performance by the players throughout the Asian qualifications. He expressed his wishes to see the Saudi team continue its outstanding performances. He also expressed aspirations for the Saudi team to represent Arab football in the best way during the finals. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa paid a visit today to the Bahrain Defense Force General Command. Upon arrival, His Majesty was welcomed by BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Dia bin Naimi, Commander of the Royal Guards Special Forces, His Highness Major General Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and several senior officers. His Majesty the King commended the tremendous efforts exerted by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin. Abdul Aziz Al Saud to serve Hajj pilgrims and facilitate their holy rituals. He noted the development in the Hajj seasons thanks to the directives of King Salman and his government, which works works hard in service of Hajj guests. His Majesty the King expressed ap appreciation and pride in the BDF and its affiliates, who spare no effort to protect the homeland, its achievements, and national unity. His Majesty was briefed on the training future plans of, as well as the excellence and uh, the success of the previous training that has been achieved. He expressed appreciation in the commitment of BDF to perform its noble duty and wished all BDF staff continued success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the Saudi qualification for the 2018 World Cup finals in Russia, following its victory over Japan in Jeddah. The Premier expressed his appreciation of the Saudi team's advanced level and the outstanding performance by the players throughout the Asian qualifications. He wished them success in the World Cup finals. His Royal Highness sent a similar a congratulatory cable to the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the Saudi qualification for the 2018 World Cup Finals in Russia following its victory over Japan in Jeddah. He expressed his appreciation of the advanced level of the Saudi team and his admiration of the outstanding performance by the players throughout the Asian qualifications, wishing them success in the World Cup Finals. The Crown Prince has sent a similar cable of congratulations to the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received at Rafah Palace His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa and his son His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad Al Khalifa during the meeting which marked the graduation of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad Al Khalifa from the UK's Royal Military Academy Sandhurst His Royal Highness the Crown Prince commended the accomplishments and wished His Highness Sheikh Mohammed every success in his future endeavors.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the custodian of the two Holy Mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on the Saudi qualification for the 2018 World Cup Finals in Russia, following its victory over Japan in Jeddah. His Highness expressed pride in Saudi Arabia's qualification for the fifth time after its outstanding performance during the aging qualifications. He wished the team success in the 2018 World Cup. Sheikh Nasser also congratulated the president of the Saudi Arabian Football Federation, Adil Izzat, the federation's affiliates, administrative and technical bodies, as well as the Saudi team players. Upon the invitation of the Emirates Center for Strategic Studies and Research, the Education Minister Dr. Majd Al Naimi had headed the Bahrain delegation participating in a symposium on education, extremism, and terrorism hosted by the center at the UAE. The education ministers gave a minister gave a presentation about the educational institutions in Bahrain, which have been subjected to systematic terrorism and acts of sabotage since 2011, targeting the educational process and exploiting students by involving them in acts of violence. He talked about the damage caused by a total of 571 attacks attacks on schools, as well as the terrorist attempt to disrupt schools and deprive students of their inherent right to learn in a safe environment. He noted the measures taken by the ministry to counter the effects of these attacks, at the forefront of which is the introduction of the Citizenship and Human Rights Promoting Schools project. al Naimi added that the project was praised by international experts and specialists after it was introduced by UNESCO's headquarters and, and Geneva Center for Human Rights at advancement and global dialogue, where it was described as a leading educational human rights experiment at the international level. The minister said that starting from the new academic year, the project will be circulated in all elementary and intermediate schools. The presentation included an overview of the educational march in the kingdom and uh, the achievements made in this field. In response to the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to, to reduce traffic congestion across the roads network in Bahrain, the Works Affairs Undersecretary of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Ahmed Al Khayyat, stated that the ministry has completed the revamp of Wadi Al Ahad roundabout. The works provide a lane for U turns underneath the flyover. For for traffic coming from the north along Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Highway, heading towards Sheikh Zayed Avenue and on to Ali, Salmabad and Isa Town Educational District. The capacity of the U-turn lane is 800 vehicles per hour. The project is expected to alleviate uh, traffic congestion along uh, the interchange of Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Highway and Sheikh Isa bin Salman Highway, especially traffic heading towards Isa Town and Salmabad. The revamp works are expected to shorten trip time and make it easier for commuters to reach areas like Ali, Salmabad, Isa Town and Rafah. According to Al Khayyat, the ministry had previously submitted a pack of improvement projects to address traffic congestion across various locations in Bahrain to the coordination committee chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The committee approved 11 urgent projects as part of a short term plan, which is part of a wider plan launched by the ministry to deliver major strategic road projects over a period of three to five years, which will be funded by the Gulf Development Program. Information Affairs Minister Ali al rumehi said the tremendous efforts made by the Saudi government to ensure the success of the Hajj season this year reflects the great care given by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to provide all resources to serve pilgrims. Speaking to Al Sharq Al Awsat newspaper, he paid tribute to Saudi Arabia and its people, adding that the success was not surprising and was in fact an extension of decades-long successes in organizing this ritual. He added that the kingdom has accorded since its founder, the late King Abdul Aziz, a special care to the holy sites and worked for years to remove obstacles and hardships encountered by the pilgrims and visitors of the holy sites. 
The minister stressed that the big achievements and precision in planning and implementation had a great impact on the comfort of the pilgrims who expressed happiness and thanks to Saudi Arabia, the custodian of the two holy mosques and the crown prince for the gracious hospitality and laudable achievements. He added the accomplishment was the outcome of strong cohesion between the Saudi leadership and people who draw every season a unique humanitarian and Islamic epic by showing utmost keenness on serving pilgrims and providing them with assistance. The Director General of Criminal Investigation and Forensic Science announced that the Anti-Narcotics Directorate, in cooperation with the Coast Guard and the Police Aviation, have foiled an attempt to smuggle 68 kilograms of hashish worth more than 400,000 Bahraini dinars from Iran via the sea. Two Bahraini suspects have been arrested. Initial investigations have shown that the two men were planning to smuggle the drugs from Iran. After investigating and obtaining a warrant from the public prosecutor, the two identified suspects' boat was monitored and they were arrested while receiving the drugs in the middle of the sea. And the hashish was seized. Legal steps are being taken to refer the case to the public prosecutor. A very good evening in watching the business news in Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdel Ghafur. Bahrain All Share Index closed today at 1,311.17 points, marking an increase of 8.7 points above the previous closing. The increase was due to the rise in the investment in the commercial bank sectors, and investors mainly traded in the commercial bank sector, representing 45% of the total value of traded shares. 57 equity transactions took place with a volume of 1,574,386 worth 401,602 Bahraini dinars. In line with its journey towards safety tomorrowland, aluminium Bahrain top officials visited the shop floor employees during Eid al-Adha holiday. Alba management conducted several safety visits within the plant to include reduction lines, power stations and cost house operations. Such visits are held regularly, especially during holidays, to boost the employees' morale and ensure that safety remains a top priority at all times. One of the main commercial banks in the kingdom, BMI Bank's identity is officially written off and all the transactions are transferred to Al Salam Bank after its acquisition in early 2014. Starting this month, BMI Bank is not considered a trade name following the completion of all legal procedures and the Islamization of its operations. The merge between the two banks is expected to create Bahrain's third largest banking institution by assets amounting to 2 billion Bahraini dinars, along with greater financing facilities approximate to 1.2 billion Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 